Now, dear students, there can be various approaches of developing a web-based database application. But there are certain basic building blocks, which of course I will cover in this module. And those basic building blocks are mapped across traditionally uh, three type of architectures. A one tier architecture, two tier architecture. One tier is not uh, something very useful in a production environment. Two tier architecture and the three tier architecture. The web based database applications are basically developed based upon the three tier architecture. So first I'll go through the those basic four building blocks and then I'll be talking about those architectures. So this is the uh, the module coverage which I will be following in this module. So what are the components of a database application? Browser or presentation layer. Browser is the client. It could be Explorer, it could be Chrome, it could be Firefox. So what the browser does, the browser creates the page for you based upon whatever text it gets, whatever font it gets, the commands. And it also runs uh, embedded applications which it supports. So that is the use of the browser. So what the browser gets, the browser gets from the business layer. Right. So these are the, the four uh, building blocks which I mentioned. So what does the business layer does? It collects the data or information and it prepares, it retrieves at formats. So the message over here is that this is not a static web page. This is a dynamic web page because it is retrieving, it is formatting, retrieving the data uh, from all the way from the database server all the way from there and depending upon the commands which were given formats the page for you okay and prepares the page for you so these are the different tasks done by the business layer most of the time is spent by the programmers in the business layer why because how the business works the business logic the operation of the business is built into the business layer Business layer doesn't mean it's a trade. It means, for example, if it's a university environment, how GPA is calculated, how the warnings are issued, what are the requirements for uh, observing and monitoring the graduate studies of students and so on. That is something which goes in the business layer. Understand? So this is the most uh, important layer because all the working is there. And then we have the database connection layer. The database connection layer basically connects your business layer with your database layer or the database server, right? And what does the database layer is does? It is storing the data. It is retrieving the data. It is updating the data. It is storing the data, retrieving the data and updating the data. And where this all is done, it is done on the database. It is all done on the database. Okay, these things are happening over there. Okay, understand everybody? So this is the layered approach. Things are happening in the layers that allows maintenance and so on, which I have covered in prior modules also. So as I showed you in the earlier slide, we have the one tier application or the architecture and the two tier architecture and the three tier architecture. One tier architecture is that you want to practice a SQL. Uh, you install a database application on your machine and is a laptop or a PC. You install a database on it, application on it, and you're running SQL commands on it. That is a one tier application or the architecture. It is not used in production environment. Okay, this is not for production, not for production environment. Okay, then we have this two tier architecture. In the two tier architecture, what we have is that we have the client tier and the client tier has uh, the four modules which I showed you on the previous slide. Out of those four, 
three of them are in the client tier including the business layer also understand so the now what will happen you have this presentation layer also and you have this business layer also okay it will result into a fat client fat client fat client fat doesn't mean it is it means that you need to have more of the processing power it needs you need to have more memory which is against the concept of a web based database applications because we would like to have a thin client less processing power less memory so that there are more users because more users can afford thin clients but of course uh, this is the two tier architecture this is like the traditional client server architecture which i discussed in the previous slide and next we have the three tier architecture so we have this three tier architecture and as you can see things are properly bifurcated okay so this database server is in the database tier and usually this is on a separate machine this is on a separate machine and this is on a separate machine uh pc123 is, is is not a it's kind of misnomer but the this is the pc this is a server this is a server so what is a server server is a high performance machine high as compared to your pc and of course uh with this kind of an arrangement you not only get better performance you get better maintainability better manageability better deployment ability and better security also because you have divided your application into tiers and you have these boundaries over here and you can have control over here so these are the benefits of the three tier architecture which is the basic architecture the fundamental architecture for all web based database applications scenarios concepts which we will be covering which we have covered in this course thank you very much